Hey everybody, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here, and today we're going to check out Saints Row Customization Showcase. I know it got spoiled, but unfortunately I didn't get to see it when somebody else had break in the terms of service. I don't know what they had, but yeah, we're going to check it out together. I know Mika Burton is going to be hosting this, so I'm psyched for that. I like Mika. I've met only briefly for a little bit at uh, TwitchCon. And she's a sweet person and awesome gamer and D and D player. So we're gonna have fun with this. Um, I am currently just chilling in the waiting room, so we're gonna wait together. And as soon as it pops on, I'll go full screen and we'll have fun with that. Okay, here we go. Oh, snap. It's about time you guys all showed up. Mika! Hi, I'm Mika Burton, and we have got a lot of ground to cover here in Santo Ileso, the new home of Saints Row. We are about to go on a deep dive on tons of all that Saints Row customization has to offer. And we will also meet the So we're going to be able to fly so again like last and time. Get a better idea of what Saints Row customization is all about. One of a kind. Hmm. We'll see about that. I don't know. Seen a lot of stuff that they did before. Just being honest. Saints Row gives you the ultimate freedom to express yourself in the weird Wild West. You've never seen anything like this before. So buckle up. Out here, it's every boss for themselves. Okay. Give you the lay of the land. How to craft your perfect boss, your fleet. <laughs> uh, yeah. Crew, even your Saints HQ. It's time to build your criminal. Oh, empire. so we could actually Stop. customize our house now. Okay, that's the only difference I see so far. Because it's a place that breeds attitude. Here, you do you. In Saints Row, show off your personal clothing they style. <laughs> They censor. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay. You're going to censor everything. So I wonder if that's still in the game. They're going to censor the chest area for male and female. And non-binary and everybody else. So we'll see what happens. Oh, man. That's hilarious. It all starts at the top. Okay. And style I like the hairstyle so far. Head. They don't Down look to too generic. Color. Yeah, I remember you doing that. Anyone can build their entire look around anything. Oh, so now we can customize our grill. Cool. I like that. Texture, tent, gloss, scars, and even muscle and vein definition. Cool. Make both I like that it looks more defined. Different. Asymmetrical face customization is a first. So smear on some lipstick. Add ink. Clown up oh, face, I like that. I like the face paint. Oh really? Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Well, we're gonna have to censor this so hard. Oh now we're not wait. So we don't censor the male chest area when there's tattoos. I'm confused. I'm so confused. When are you going to censor and when are you not going to censor? I don't get this. I don't understand this at all. Arrive in style with vehicle <laughs> customization. <laughs> oh, so man. Select, you'll have plenty of time to I don't get this at all, but okay. Go deep under the hood, customizing all your rides. Load up on exotic parts and pieces. Modify Cars are looking body, good. Change paint, add grime, make it's kind of like a uh, Need for Speed Underground, oh, where you can uh, modify your car, recipe. add some underglow if you want. I get you. Wow, all that, and you won't even brag about souping up your wheels. <laughs> wheels like this speak for themselves. <laughs> I want to know who the cast is. Who's the voice I cast now? I want to know all the names. Above and beyond with signature abilities. Think boss worthy maneuvers like crab hoverboard, steering, make your own wrecking ball, or use ejector seats to launch your success to new heights. You 
You can look as slick as you want in your customized ride all day, but sooner or later, you're gonna need the perfect weapon. Change almost every aspect of your weapon's looks. Adjust the material, including the color on individual okay. parts. Okay, I got you. Change texture. Go glossy or metallic. Make it rough or smooth. Add decal too if you want. Nah, looks are just skin deep, right? Why not swap the whole model? Want to pack that RPG into a guitar case? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool. I like that. I like that you could change it into something ridiculous if you want to be ridiculous. Which is the whole point in Saints Row. Saints Row the Third was ridiculous from beginning to the middle to the end. I just enjoyed it. Your Saints, your Saints vehicles, they all gotta fit together. I like that. Collective image into one unified criminal masterpiece. All right, listen up. The church will become your go-to HQ. It's a real fixer-upper that you can customize as the saints grow in power. Okay. Or dreaming one level higher, head on up to HQ second floor where you can master. So we're keeping the angels, okay? Across the entire city. Miss the the saints and yeah. Looks like we can just agree to disagree on who does boss better. Why? Feeling overwhelmed by my outrageous choice. A true boss is never overwhelmed. Oh, we can most definitely agree on that. Oh, they're keeping Let's Pretend. Okay. So a lot of the stores are going to be the same. Huh. Choose it or lose it. Wow. That was a lot to take in all. It was, Mika. But let's talk to the real rock stars, the devs, about all of this crazy customization you guys just saw. Oh, hey, Volition team, what's up? Hello. Hey. Hmm. I team looks a lot different. The trailer, but for me, I have to say it's raising a couple of more questions than it's answering. But I say that as a total compliment. So let's start with player choice, right? What can you tell me about it? We have eight different presets that you can choose from, and using those, go straight into the game, or you can modify a little bit to make it more of your own. I love the quick start elements of it, because I know for myself, when you know you dive into a game where you plan to spend about 60 plus hours in it, I want to spend time in customization because you enjoy it, but you don't want to spend too much time <laughs> in it, right? The strength of going in okay. and just picking okay. preset levels from a starting point provides so many options. Mm, I don't care. I don't mind taking forever on a customization level. I want you to make me an instantly recognizable face. How do we go about that? Sure. We have a few little preset options here so we can make like a baby type of face. You can make a very recognizable face in terms of the features. But what would really mm. be recognizable would be, you know, a face that's half one way and half the other. Like a truly asymmetrical face. I'm going to go to some of the options here. We're going to the eye options right now. I like that. that. I will agree. I like that you could change half of the face if you want to have like a scar or something's wrong with your your side of your face. Okay. I like that. I think that's good. But I don't know why we need to focus on that, but okay. Absolutely. And how do I customize my hair? I'm really hoping it's easier than like in real life. It's absolutely easier than in real life. There are plenty of hairstyles to choose from, all different kinds of colors to choose from as well. Yeah, they and upgraded really the hair a lot better. Textures and styles of hair I liked that we it. have. It's not just different cuts and lengths, but there are braids, there's ponytails, there's a lot of different options to choose from. I love to hear all of that. My favorite detail of face customization is probably messing around with, with the eyes and the cheeks. I think like the eyes are very Oh, that's cool. So I, I like that. With the heights and I like the that. Colors and even the different presets we have to show off different contacts that show off the different mesmerizing eyes. Hell eyes yeah, I want that. I really like our makeup and our stars. I want to get There's that. A lot of different ways to make your character all the more personalized and more custom to you. Hell and yeah. What your boss looks like just by giving them a really nice eyeliner look or maybe a couple of battle scars. You can make yourself whatever your idea of awesome is with extensive body and clothing customizations. So, guys, what are my options for sculpting my character's physique? Can I choose the shape and size? What's actually possible here? You have a lot of possibilities when it comes to changing your size and your physique. Whether you want to look more like a bodybuilder with calf delts and really like striated quads, you can do that. If you want to have a smoother look, you know, you can Same you thing can that, that they did in the other two games. Um, and, and it's just the they made it look a little bit better uh, with the... When you're very, very ripped. Like, like when you're very, very ripped, you could do that. And the prosthetics, yes. Also. 
That's pretty cool. That's another and, option. You know, like, I like that option. One of the first so you can customize yourself how wear. you want to so be. So what can we do there? We can change but. skin tint. We can change texture. There are plenty of different shaders to choose from as you play the game and progress and unlock them so you can have broken glass. I want to look like Hulk. To really maximize oh, that's going to make my eyes hurt. There are different <laughs> colors as well. So if you wanted to be from the oh, woman group, you probably man. could be. And what if I wanted to express like, myself with so some many paint? times. Can I get tattoos as well? I don't Absolutely. know if I can stream this We've game. The whole body cover from head to toe, face, <laughs> neck, arms, legs, chest, oh, torso, and back. Okay. That's so cool. <laughs> and you know the saying goes, clothes do make the person. So let's dive I'm going to censor this, but to there's going to be moments where you're going to see like little helmets, hearts and stuff. You can, you can watch hats, the original video to see that. You can put glasses on. You can have something across your face. We clearly brought back layered clothing. So, player, you can have a shirt okay. with a hoodie on top of that, with a jacket over top of that. I like that. Thank you. I, I like that I could change stuff because there's sometimes I was like, I didn't like this combo. And now that you can make me choose whatever I want, I'm happy. Nice. That sounds phenomenal. And I feel like there's probably even more ways I can express myself. Can you dive in a little bit about those? Sure. So you can express yourself with your voice. I mean, we have, you know, eight different voice options that range from serious to kind of absurd. This game ain't gonna play itself. And there's also a whole bunch of emotes that you can do to where you can have like a type of touchdown celebration if you want. <laughs> and there's certain emotes where it actually- I remember those, yeah. Cycle. You can have keep down the road, you know, looking like you keep wrong rather than do it in a place. You can oh no. Down the entire We're gonna be Burger King sneak. And now, a word from our sponsors. Is that old reliable not so reliable no more? Oh, it's got spirit, all right. So we're going to do this again? Okay. Just ain't as rugged as it used to be. For those who don't know Saints Row and GTA, there's always like a fake company, there's fake stuff. And they would be like advertising stuff. just needs a new ticker. So he's probably gonna be a playable NPC. He's gonna you're gonna be able to see Whatever him and talk to him. Takes, our team's got the goods and the know-how to give that wreck a second shot. Because even an old car can learn new tricks at Jim Rob's. Nothing beats freckle bitches. Just FYI, you will never top that. You can roll in style with one of the deepest customization pools available in the game, vehicle customization. You can spend hours, if you want, in the garage altering just about any part on your sweet, sweet rides. Let's start with curated collections of vehicle add-ons with the presets. We have over 80 vehicles for players to find, collect, and customize. Each of them offer oh, a preset, I like that. which is a completed I want this ship. I want to go find this ship in the game. Change the look of the vehicle with a Just like I wanted, I always would get Johnny Gat's head vehicle. When it comes I would rock that everywhere. How deep do those options go? We offer a wide variety of different paint types. I believe we actually have six of them that you can pick from. And they range anywhere between a sleek matte to iridescent. So it's kind of like the skin for your character. Your ornament hood. You can your match your car. Trunk. There are lots of different bumpers you can choose from. Fenders, hoods. You can even change your roof if you wanted to. You can even change up just your side panels or you can even make it subtle if you want. There are tile profiles for days. You can choose a low profile tire, a high Higher profile tire you can change the axle height of your wheels and you can also change the hubcaps and you can modify these either on individual axles or both at the same time and how about the sound when I roll up in my sweet ride the engine the horn if you have quite a few options when it comes to the audio here you have different options for the engine the horn and also your transmission if you want to pull up now that is cool I like that if I engine, want my <laughs> little like Prius to sound like a, a truck you can do that. Hell yeah, so I'm gonna do that. To be able to drive around and antagonize pedestrians with my clown car horn. <laughs> and say I'd want to give my lift a special lift, if you know what I'm saying. Any specialized equipment options? Absolutely. There's nitrous available for your car, so you can get that extra boost to get away from the cops if you're on the run. There's okay. off-road kits because we're in a desert, so there's gonna be a lot of driving out there. I'll take the off-road kit and just get nitrous and so just be stupid. You can connect your car to different objects to take them with you wherever you go. You have different upgrade kits that once you fully level them up, it will so much chaos I can do with the bus. The car, so speed, mm -hmm. performance, durability. You do have the ability I wonder if there's going to be like a trophy where you and have to cause so much damage with a towing vehicle. Watercrafts. We've got boats, hoverboard, VTOLs, helicopters, all have the same amount of customization choices. Last thing on this widely expansive topic. Let's talk a little bit about signature abilities. 
So you, you know when you're trying to get away from the cops, whoever's chasing you, you know, you have to make very sharp, very specific turns. You can unlock an ability called crap spin. So basically, instead of sliding around, you take very small steps around. You can really like corner precisely to help get away from the cops. Yeah, there's okay. also ball and chain. You drag a giant metal ball behind you, which is great when there's pursuit vehicles trying to stop you as you swing it around and knock them there you from go. being a threat. My favorite one is ejector seats because it means that you can wingsuit from virtually anywhere so long as you have that unlocked in your car. So you find There's another car. Cappers, just okay. in case people don't know how to stay in their lanes while you're driving or if you want an additional boost to keep police from running oh, inside your car. Man. You can just keep hitting the infinite boost button and just keep on going when you finally unlock it. And there's also some story related ones that you will end up seeing, but we're not quite ready to share that just yet. So you'll have to wait and see what those end up in. Come on. Uh, they're probably working out the, the problems. I know what you guys are all thinking. But what about my peeps, right? Well, we've got tons of weaponry with tons of choice over the aesthetics. And with freedom over where you can customize them, you should have no trouble finding that special sidearm. So how far can I go changing material and colors? You can color any part of the gun that you want from the body all the way down to the minor parts. Well, just like on cars, I kind of like stickers. I want to put them all over. So what's available in the decal department? There are plenty of decals available. We have decals based on the Wild West, or if you want to be really fun and colorful, there's also really cool, bright, more fanciful stickers. Mm. I'm loving all of these details for visual customization, and I really like how my weapon fires, but I want to 100% change the look. Am I asking too much there? No, you're not asking too much at all. This is actually one of my favorite features in the game because you can actually change how your weapon looks. Like, for example, I know with the rocket launcher, that's one of my favorite ones. You can turn that into a guitar case. There's also another one that I really enjoy when it comes to the assault rifle. You can turn it into like an umbrella. So you can you think, kind of think about it like the penguin. Like, like, you know, it's almost like you have like oh, an assault rifle that's, that's an umbrella. Like there's a potato cannon. And I, I like you it. Turn one of your, the melee bat, the spike bat, into a pinata bat. So that's a fun one to do. Oh, really no like longer was the. Aww. Those are probably like my favorite ones. We have so many fun giving weapons like that in the game where when you shoot the weapon or you use the weapon. My fans of the old games, you'll know what, what I'm talking about. The, weapon to do. the bat is no really longer going to be cool something that, that you could use that. that sort of turn the combat on its head. Oh, well. Another sponsor. Let's see what the other store is going to be. If you have the cash, come try our stash at Chalupa Cabra, <laughs> Santo Ileso's favorite monster food truck. We'll hook you up with hit after food hit, trucks. Our fresh locally sourced product. Tacos. to find important delicacies you won't find at those other food trucks. <laughs> and we cook custom made designer dishes <laughs> to order. Chalupa oh, snap. Cabra, monster food for a monster appetite. I like that part. That was a good one. So you just gotta go find the food trucks walking around, you get your health boost. So let's talk about the armory located at the center of the church, Saints HQ. So how does it compare to all of those things that I can do at, say, Friendly Fire? The HQ has got a lot more convenient locations to access things like their weapon. Okay, but what about my look? Can I change my wardrobe here? Is this different than using the style app? You can change your clothes just the same as you could in the style app. And you can save all of these outfits as presets that you can mm. dress into any time. This place, as we discussed before, also comes with a garage. But okay. what would Jim Robs think of me taking my business here instead of there? Yeah, so it really becomes this active hub for choices before you go back out and get to work. Yeah, anything that you've purchased from Jim Robs will be available right at HQ. Throughout Saints HQ, you'll find these pedestals where it looks like it just needs a little something. You'll have access to a variety of collectibles that you can use to decorate your HQ, and you can switch them out at any time, and there's so many to be discovered. Is there a dress code here for my Saints? You know, I want to customize my crew. Nobody's showing up in bathrobes, right? <laughs> <laughs> Only if you want them to. You can have them dress in a plethora of styles, different mm. themes, different there we aesthetics. Go. You can set the dress code however you want to. Not only that, you can actually set up all the vehicles that your crew rolls up in. So if you want them to roll up maybe into a monster truck, you can have Hell them yeah. do that. Well, I can't Cause wait to chaos. roll up in a crew of a you're, you're, You can make your crew OP. Pink and maybe boots. let's break the game. I want to break the game. Please Here we go. I want to be part of that <laughs> Absolutely. crew. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> yes, I got my crew. 
A feature of this game I really like is that Santo Aleso keeps it real with brick and mortar stores. So where should I explore those and how do those work? So you can actually find these brick and mortar stores all around the city and your map can help guide you there to those different brick and mortar locations. Uh, you also Leather and Lace is back. Favorites, such as Leather and Lace. Okay. But you'll also find uh, plenty of new ones to discover as well. There's also another pop-up shop that is Roger's favorite, which is Botas Pacutas. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, no, how I am. And it sells these boots that have these boot tips that go really far. Really? Up, <laughs> oh, this is HQ, ridiculous. It seems like I like the that perfect one. place to mastermind. I don't know if I'm getting too off topic, but while I have you lovely devs here, what is up with the second floor? So you found the criminal empire table, which is the saints war map for expanding across the city. Now, oh, there's your map. The okay. Accessible here isn't necessarily Basically, that's your mission. Go do your missions. What Go find your build and stuff where to you're do. Gonna build it. 14 different locations to expand upon. And as you build across the city, you're going to shape this, the city landscape with your choices. We've gone over a lot today, all these customization features. And I know that Saints Row is a huge game. I mean, I saw that map. My God, the amount of hours that we will be spending in this game. But I have to know over everything. What is you guys' favorite extra or low-key feature we maybe didn't get to talk about today? I love that we don't have anything gender-specific. You can hide the nudity in the game, or you can choose not to, and you can choose to block oh. that. Oh, okay. Thank you for answering my question that I've been asking the whole video. <laughs> so if you want to have no nipples, got it. my favorite choices in the skin selections. They always make me laugh. We've already gone through so many cool customization features today, and it was really awesome taking a deep dive on Saints Row with you guys. I Thank you, Mika. I so hard working on something new, so is there anything we should be on the lookout for as fans? I know everybody wants to dive in and play with these tools, create their perfect boss, but what I can confirm is that something is coming out that will let you do that. Create your own boss, express yourself, and that'll all happen before the game releases on August 23rd. So just look forward to hearing more from our socials and from SaintsRoad.com just to get the opportunity to possibly play with these tools. So we can download a demo? Is that what you're saying? Well, if you're like me, you guys are already packing your bag for Santo Aleso. And you know what? While I'm, we're here, I'm I just happy. want to give yeah. a huge shout out of thanks to Brian Traficante, Danielle Benthine, Kenzie Lindgren, and Roger Smith for taking me through this weird, wonderful, wild west of customization options in the new Saints Row. From serious to silly, badass to monstrously absurd, to the wildly unexpected, one thing is for certain. You'll have all the tools you need to make yourself truly self-made. I'm Mika Burton. Adios, amigos. Okay. Let's see. Is there anything else? Okay, we're gonna stop it right there. Um, so, some things that I liked. Uh, they did change to where you can customize more parts of the human body, which I appreciate. I like that. <sighs> they they need to not maybe like I was expecting a little bit more, like um maybe a little bit of like something else, but. I'm getting they're they're going slow with this one because um, we all remember the the problem that we had with we all remember the problem that we had with Agents of Mayhem and how it went from something that they thought was everybody was gonna like and the minute we all complained they did a 180 and tried to make it a Saints Row game and then they didn't stick to their guns and basically made a, a game that didn't make any sense because it was supposed to be an alternate universe but at the end of the day if it's not a fun game I'm not liking it I'm not gonna enjoy it so I see that it looks like kind of like the old Saints Row where you get a little bit of action a little bit of craziness that we get and I can't wait to see more I am 50 50 I'm not gonna be overhyped just because of the fact that I've seen it go downhill real fast in several of the games like Get Out of Hell, they promised a full game. In reality, it was just DLC where I literally kept doing copy and paste for several hours and didn't really enjoy the game. 
And then I got this, and it's kind of looking a little bit of like, uh, what's the story going to be like? I want to see a story. Like, if, if the developers are watching this, or somebody from Volition is watching this, can we get a little bit of the story besides just the, the whatever? Can we get, like, who's the bad guys? Can we get more in-depth with that? Like, different things like that. And, and also, I would like to see possibly a little bit more on different gameplay aspects, like what one mission is going to look like if if that there's going to be a demo where i can play with the the features let me play one mission let me see what it's going to be about and that way i can make my final decision from that because i know they gave a little bit of playtesters a chance to play it but just the general population us people who don't get the the perks of like 100k subs or more like let us be able to play it too and just see what it's like and um, a lot of people have been asking, what version am I going to get? I'm definitely not going to get the highest tier version. I really don't care about the bells and whistles. Um, I might get the second tier or the, the standard edition. The second tier, I believe, had like a package deal where you can get some like extra clothing, which I did that for Saints Row three and four I bought just like the upgraded one where you got like a little bit of clothing option not much different it's always been like my thing where I'm like I don't need like a big box set with a stuff like that for Saints Row the whole game is just ridiculous and crazy so thank you Mika and thank you to the team for showing us the amazing customization that there is going to be available and the ridiculous shenanigans and yeah I'm uh, probably not going to be able to stream this game because if I have to censor everything or do that, I don't, that's not the game. It's, it's playing the game the way you want to play it. And I probably will just play it the first time around how I want to play it. And then we'll see how it's going to be. Because I don't want any surprises in getting my channel shut down like The Last of Us 2. So thank you for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. And if you are a Saints Row fan or on the fence, did this boost you to want to play it now? So let me know. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games.